Here we go. All right, everybody, 60 minutes of work today. Midweek special, full body. Everything's gonna get a little bit of attention today. So we're gonna start on the floor as usual. We're gonna work those hips out, do a quick little stretch circuit here. So let's get ourselves in a 90 degree position. So we want that rear leg 90 degrees, front leg 90 degrees. We wanna face our shin, hand on laces, hand on the outside of the knee. Take a big deep breath. And we're gonna pull our belly button to our calf. Push those knees into the floor. Hold, and then release. We'll do it again. Push those knees in. Release. Okay, we're going to rotate our heels across so that we stay in the same position. And we're going to do the other side. Get our chest. Even with our shin, and we push down with our knees. Release, bring one more time. Good. All right, we're going to do our adductor rocks. Okay, so find a cushion for your knee, a sweatshirt, rolled up t shirt, and spread those knees apart a little bit. To put one knee on that cushion. I'm going to kick one foot out. Right, so I'm in this position. The knee is just outside my hip. I'm going to rotate my, push my butt back to my heel and rotate onto my wrists and shoulders. Just hinge through, and we should get that groin in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We get five rocks per side. Nice flat back, try not to hunch the back. And let's go to the other side. Stretch out those adductors. All ties into that lower back. Push through. And one more. All right, and we are gonna go alternating Spider-Man. So we're gonna get into that plank, we're gonna pull that foot up to our foot, we're gonna lower that other knee, we're gonna squeeze the butt and push through the hip. Squeeze through and change up. Other knee goes on the ground, squeeze this butt, squeeze, push through, open that hip. And change it up. Let's do three per side. One more. Good. We're going to stay on the floor. We're going to do an open book. Okay, that's where we get that middle position. Both knees on top of one another. Nice. Perpendic, nice uh, 90 degree angle. Take that hand and we're just going to open up and back. Give me five of these. Open that upper back. Exhale as you open, inhale as you close. And then you're just going to roll over. To the other side. Let that shoulder come all the way down to the ground. Nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Got one more after this. Good, slowly. We're going to get up off the floor. We're going to stand. Okay, we're going to do some hip cradles. Okay, so we're going to stand. You're going to cradle that knee. We're going to bring it up, hoist it, and 
keep that back straight. So we want to grab that knee, just pull a 45 degree angle with that shin, no more than that. And we're just going to alternate. We're going to do about four or five per side. Good balance here. Shift weight. Draw it up. Open up that hip. Get those rotators open. Two more. One more. All right, we're going to do a reverse lunge with a twist. So you're going to go back and do a reverse lunge, and you're going to twist to the leg that is bent. We're going to stretch through that so as and that rib cage, and then stand right back up. Go to the other side. Step back. Hinge. And repeat. Ooh. Make sure you are, whatever leg you were first lunged to, you're twisting to the other side. Just bring it back. Open that rib cage. Give me two more. One on each side. All right. You're gonna do a, we're going to do a straight legged walk. So we're going to actually push it out, heel, toe up. You're going to touch the toe, step out, raise that toe, touch the toe, hinge, keep that back straight. And just alternate. Alternate. Keep that. You can't touch your toe, that's all right. As long as you keep that back straight, hinge from the hip, okay? Give me a couple more of those. And now we're gonna do a lateral lunge. Again, we're gonna get, step out to one side, drop your butt behind that knee, go to the other side. Step wide, drop. Use your arms as a counterweight. Stick those arms out as you drop that hip. I want to see the logo on your chest. My logo, I want to keep it upright as I drop. Put my butt down on a bench. Drop in. Let's get two more. One. And two. Good. Check them out. We're going to do just a little easy side to sides. Just easy side to sides. All right, just going to walk back and forth. Shake it up a little bit here. Get a little quicker. Push across, push across with that trailing leg. All right, push across with that trailing leg. One more on each side. Okay, we're going to go high knee. So we're going to jog in place. All right, let's get that rhythm. Just think about raising the knees, pull the knees up. Swing your arms. Think about swinging your arms from your shoulders. Right? Your shoulders are on a spigot. On a, on a spit. On a spigot. Spit. And they're rotating. And now we're going to go lateral. So we're going to go cross. We're going to run, running sideways, laterally. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Let's floss out those shoulders, floss out the hips. Get a little more dynamic here. Start moving a little quicker. One more lap. And good. All right, we're gonna do some drop squats. Okay, so for anyone new to the drop squat, you're gonna raise your arms really tall, stretch your spine, go up on your toes, now down straight. I'm gonna throw my hands down into a squat. So it's like I'm putting the brakes on. Someone's like pulling the rug from underneath me. And I, and I gotta land, stabilize, okay? So here we go. We'll do three of these. Ready up tall and drop. Okay, so you're throwing that weight down, catching yourself. 
Pretty up tall and drop. One more. Up tall. Drop. Okay. So this time we're gonna do we're gonna do four more of those, but we're gonna land on one leg and then hop to the other. Let me demonstrate. So for example, I'm gonna go up on my two legs, then I'm gonna come down onto my left, and then I'm gonna hop to my right. Okay. So we'll do two like that, starting with the left, hopping to the right, and then dropping down to the right, hopping to the left. Okay, so here we go. So up on both feet, we're gonna to drop to our left leg. Ready, drop, and then hop to the other leg. Okay, so again, we're just doing a little bit of a plyometric. Okay, here we go. Up tall, drop, jump, land. Okay, so we wanna land and stick it like a gymnast, okay? All right, we'll do the other leg now. We're going to drop down on our right leg and then hop to our left. Ready and drop. Whoop, drop. Okay. Do that again. Up tall. Drop to the right. Jump. Land on our left. Good. All right. All right, we're going to do 10 squats, then we're done for our warm up. So good 10 squats. Spread those feet about shoulder width. Right, put your hands on your shoulders, and here we go. Ready, lower, up, squeeze your butt at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10. All right, all right, so we're now on our first round, okay? First tricep, the A round. So we're gonna do curtsy squats, tinioka with side to side, and then glute bridge raises. And let me go through this again. So you're gonna grab some dumbbells, whatever you've got. Water bottles, paint cans, tide bottles. Okay, so the curtsy squat is gonna hold two weights. You're gonna do a curtsy. You're gonna bring one leg behind, squat, Bring it back and we'll stay to the same side for 30 seconds. Okay. Then we're going to lower those weights. You're going to do a tinioka, tiny yoga, I guess. That's where we pull the hip. We twist that hip and we do a little salsa dancing. Okay. We're going to go for about 20 seconds. All right. And then we're just going to go side to side, kind of more vigorously. Okay. And then lastly, glute bridge raises. So you lay on the floor, you're gonna clasp one knee, and you're gonna drive your hip up with one leg. Okay, through the heel, squeeze it, and lower. Alternate. Up, down. Up, down. Okay, that's the glute bridge. We will then rest 30 seconds, and then do it again, okay? So here we go, we're gonna go for one minute, 30 seconds on each leg. Let's grab those thumbnails, whatever you've got. Okay, here we go. Let's go to one side, you pick a side. I'm going, I'm curtsying to my left. And if you don't have very heavy weights or medium weights, they're like, we just wanna work the, the range of motion and the Position really well. Okay, you can do this just your body weight too. Maybe one more, and let's do the other side. So we twist, make sure as we bring our leg behind us, go down. We want to shift our hips so that our hips are facing squared up, not crooked. As we bring that leg around us, we gotta shift those hips. That rear knee should be right behind that front calf. Give me one more. And time. Lower those weights. Okay, we go tinioka. Start out slow. And then start getting a little quicker. Again, we're just gonna get that heart rate up. Still kind of warming up. 
Okay, get those hips going. All right, we're gonna go side to side now. So it's just like you're guarding somebody in basketball, just kind of side to side. Let's get a little more vigorous now. Whatever room you've got, take advantage of it. Move the furniture. Got less than five seconds. Keep it going. And time. All right, blue bridges. Here we go. So class one knee. You're gonna drive up. Hold and then release, exchange, drive up. So clasp your fingers. You're giving yourself a little more resistance. You drive that glute bridge up. Drive your hip. Fifteen seconds to go. Just keep it moving. Squeeze the butt. Right. Don't arch your back. Keep your abs on as you do this. And time. Okay, we've got 30 seconds rest. Get a drink of water. Okay, you stand up. We're gonna get into those curtsy squats again in about 20 seconds. Remember, as we go into that curtsy, Leg goes around, it's gonna pull your hip back. You wanna reposition it before you drop. Okay, here we go. And we are off. Drop. Come back to stand. Repeat. We stay on the same side. Think about dropping that. Butt down, you're gonna sit down. Give me one more, and we're going to the other side. Good. Think about 70 30 in terms of how much weight you're putting on that front leg versus your rear leg. Okay. One more. And time. All right. Tinioka, little tinioka, little workout. Get a little coordination. Keep your stomach tight. So as you pull your hips across you, they should move. It's like they're snapping. Think about a stretching this rubber band and letting it go. All right, nice good tension through the midsection. Okay, we're gonna go side to sides now. Side to side now, pull. A little quicker now, a little quick. Push across, push, push, push with that other leg. Think about pushing, pushing, push, and time. Glute bridges, okay, we wanna get those glutes now. Okay. And we are off. Just alternate the leg. Squeeze the butt as you lift that hip off the ground. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Keep it up, keep the rhythm at less than five, in two, one, and time. All right, last round. 30 seconds, get a drink of water, shake out your legs. Okay, going to be nice curtsy. Think about range of motion. Okay. In five. Ready, and here we go. Last round of these. Find your balance. Good. Good posture with your upper body, right? We wanna be able to see the load on your chest. 
You're just dropping. Give me one more. And let's go to the other side now. Lowering the luggage in a curtsy position. Keep those feet flat. And time. All right, here we go. Let's move it, a little tunioka, a little tunioka. A little salsa, a little salsa dancing. Keep that body moving, remember, we pull, pull the hip across you, upper body works against it. All right, we're gonna go side to side now. Here we go, side to side, side to side, push across, push, push. Remember, trailing leg is your driver. That's your driving leg. Other leg has to get out in front. So you're not hopping up and down, you're moving laterally across. And time. Okay, here we go. Glute bridges. Glute bridges. Find that floor. And drive up. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Drive that hip. Lift that lower back off the ground. Squeeze that butt. Got 10 seconds. Keep those toes off the floor. Just driving that heel. And time. All right, team. Good work. Okay. Go drink of water while I explain the next three exercises. Okay. So you're going to need a cushion. For your knee, unless you're on a nice soft rug, then you're okay. But in my case, I got a little foam pad, but you can roll up a sweatshirt, t-shirt, use it for your knee. So what we'll do is use a, this as an example. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be in a half kneel position. So remember, anytime you're in a half kneel position, you squeeze that butt that's connected to the knee that's on the floor, right? We're gonna lock that thigh into the hip joint. We're gonna take this weight, you can do one or two of them. If you got really super light weights, you're gonna have two of them. And you're gonna put it in your pocket and you're going to bring that weight across your chest in a diagonal position and just bring it across. Pause at your sternum, lower to the opposite pocket. Okay, so it's down. So you can use two weights if you got light weights or one weight if you have one heavy weight. So keep it close and from a side angle, it's gonna be from here, I'm gonna keep it close to my body. And it, all right, so it's across. And then I'll switch at the 30, all right? Switch at the 30 and we just go across the other way. Okay, it's a diagonal press. Then we're going to do a uh, reverse lunge to kick. So you're going to reverse lunge, kick. Reverse lunge, kick for 20, switch legs. And then lastly, the down dog. So two variations here. Do a regular down, just a down dog where you're going to plank and you're going to push away. All right. And then come right down to a plank, squeeze your bum, push away. The other option is to come all the way to the floor, do a push up and a down dog. Okay, those are the two options, right? Just regular down dog, or we add a push up. Okay, all right. So let's find a suitable weight for yourself. You got a pad for your knee. Okay, grab a dumbbell. Put my right knee down. Okay, got the dumbbell on my both hands, and here we go. Push across, pause, lower. 
The only thing that's moving across is my shoulders. Everything else is just point forwards. Squeeze my butt, keep that anchored. Push it across. Be stable. One more. Let's switch sides, switch knees. No. no. Your abdominals on. Send it across diagonally, pause at the sternum, lower that side cock, and time. All right. Reverse lunge to kick. Here we go. Right leg back, and we kick through. Right back into that lunge. Find your balance. Settle in, drive through. Give me one more. Let's go to the other side. First lunge, kick through. Find that balance. If you have to put your foot in the middle and then set it back, so be it. Let's just work on it. <clears throat> one more. All right. Here we go, down dogs. Okay. Push back, drive those heels, keep those feet shoulder width, toes slightly in. Drive your hips back and up. Extend those hands. If you're adding a push up, Go all the way to the floor, release your body weight, and start from the dead stop. And time. Good. All right. That's round one. Got two more to go. Okay, so get your drink of water. Get 30 seconds rest. Okay, so we want to make sure that we give the body suitable rest time okay so that we work hard stress plus rest equals strength here we go keep that glute squeezing good posture nice and controlled movements here Send it across, lower and pause, reset. Good, switch sides, switch knees. And go. And time. All right. First lunge. All right, here we go. Right leg back, kick through. Drive off of that front thigh. All right, good runner stance. Kick through. Good stability. Stretching out that hamstring as well. And let's go to the other leg. Find that stability. Once you have that stability, you can start to speed it up. And time. Here we go, down dogs. Stretch through, push away, stretch the back of those legs. Hinge to that plank. Squeeze the butt. Good. 
If you're doing a push up, lower all the way to the mat, release, and then come back up. Otherwise, just a nice hinge, push away. Breathe. And time. All right, nice job, everybody. One more round, we're halfway through. Breathe. All right, how are we all doing? Are you all doing okay? All right, here we go. Set ourselves up for the last round of these. Three, two, and one, here we go. Cross. Remember, you're going to cross the knee. Drive it across. Keep that glute squeezing. Lock that thigh into the hip. Good stability in that half kneel position. As you send that weight diagonally and up. And let's switch legs. Switch sides. Here we go. Time. Woo. All right. right leg back. Here we go. Right in that. Find that rhythm. How much depth can you get on that split squat? Okay, find that balance. Push through that front leg. Straight legged kick. Push through, right back. Other side now. Here we go. Find their balance, kick through. Opposite hand touches that foot. One more, and time, all right. Here we go, last of the down dogs. Here we go. Drive those heels down to the floor, push away. Push away. Switch those back of those legs. One more. And time. Woo, we are halfway through, folks. Yes. Okay. Drink of water. I'm going to demonstrate the three exercises. Okay, so we're going to do a waiter squat. So all you need is one dumbbell, one side of your body. So you're gonna rest that dumbbell on your shoulder. Other arm will go out as a balancer. And you do a squat. Squat, press, okay? So from the side, I'm squatting, pressing, okay? So I want to, Effectively, I want to use my legs to drive the weight up. Okay? So finish everything together. Anytime you throw an object over that head, squeeze your butt. Keep your back nice and neutral. Tuck your pelvis. Okay? Don't arch the back. Then we're going to do seal jacks. So seal jacks is where we, we kind of keep our elbows in our hips. If we do a jumping jack, all we're doing is rotating out through my arms. See, my elbows don't leave my side. They just go nice and rotational backwards. You can feel the back of your shoulders, okay? Then we're gonna do Superman's or snow angels. That's where we lay on our, our stomach and our forehead, 
right? And we're going to just do snow angels. So think about doing snow angel. So when my glutes are squeezing, my feet are on the floor, but I'm squeezing my butt. And my hands, my palms are open. I'm just trying to lift my arms off the floor as far as I can. So I come around and I open my palms. And come back. Okay, so it's just a nice mobility drill for those shoulders. All the while you're squeezing your butt. I want to have good tension through the back because you're raising those arms off the floor as far as you can. Okay. All right, here we go. In five. Let's find that dumbbell. It's going to work for you. Here we go. In two. One, and off we go. So think about drawing that foot back as you press. Press the hand, press the arm, squeeze the butt as that weight goes overhead. If you don't want to throw the weight over your head, just keep it on the shoulder. And let's switch sides. Here we go. One more, and time. Woo, seal jacks. Here we go. <laughs> we open the arms, legs open. Stay in the balls of the feet. You don't have to have a lot of air. Just keep a little bouncy, okay? Calves go neglected in many ways. We got to keep tension through the calves, Achilles, all those ligaments. Five seconds. In two, one, and time. Supermans or snow angels. Okay, so find the floor. Keep your good posture. Arms as high as you can get them. Palms up and then rotate them backwards. Rotate the hands. Keep your glutes squeezing. Good tension, 10 seconds. Good posture. Tuck that chin in. But squeezing and time. All right. So the ob object is to get to keep those shoulders off the floor. Okay, good mobility. All right. Okay, here we go. Waiter squats. Remember, if you have really light weights. We want to work on the squat. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Switch hands. There you go. Squeeze that butt as you stand and extend that arm. And time. All right. Good work. We're all doing the best we can. Keep
Keep it moving. Heart rate's up a little bit from doing the squats. Now it's a slightly different activity. No weight bearing other than your body weight. Want that nice rotation. Okay. Rotisserie chicken. Rotate. That force going back and then forward, working those back of those triceps, those lats, upper back, shoulder complex. In two, one, and time. All right, shoulder mobility now. Here we go. Head down, squeeze the butt, rotate. Keep trying to keep those palms. As they go behind your back, they rotate. As they go forward, they rotate. To really feel your spine inside of your extensors, shoulder blades. In two, one, and time. Good job. <clears throat> Ready to go. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Ooh. Okay, let's get a drink of water, keep hydrated. This is our last round, then we're going into the final, final round. All right. Good squats, always working on technique. Here we go. Ready and go. Control, stay strong going up. Control on the way down, fire it up. Always working on depth. Most importantly. And switch hands. Ready to go. Do it. One more. And then. Here we go. Seal jacks. <laughs> Almost <laughs> forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Woo! Keep it moving, keep it moving now. Body's warm. Right, we're gonna keep that heart rate up. Okay, breathe. Find a rhythm, locked into your breath. Keep those elbows snug, right? They're just rotating on back like a flapping penguin. In two, one, and time. All right, here we go. Superman's. Forehead on the mat, squeeze the butt. Lift those shoulders and those arms as high as you can off the floor. Breathe. 10 seconds to go. And time. All right. Well done. All right. Coming in our last circuit, the D round. Okay. So what we'll do is you're going to have two dumbbells. This is a balancing exercise. So really the weights doesn't really matter. You're gonna bring one knee up to the belt buckle. So from the side, 
I'm going to balance, and then I'm going to do a curl. Okay, 30 seconds on each side. Really want to get that knee to the belt buckle. You want to pull that toe upwards. So you're like, you're going to go up on a stair, squeeze this butt. So whatever leg you're standing on, you really want to squeeze that glute. That'll help anchor you to the floor, okay? So we're just going to be nice and still. Okay, then, then we're not going to get still. We're going to put those weights down after 30 seconds on each side. We're going to do a base turn. That's the base turn. Lower body's going one way. And then we're going in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. And then base turn. Wherever you want to end up, you do a base turn. Step forward, step back. Step forward, step back. Okay? And then we're going into bird dogs. So remember, bird dogs on all fours. Good bird dogs, right? We're gonna extend opposite limbs, head straight down so you don't want to tilt that neck. You can bring it back and alternate. Okay, really extend, stay long, squeeze the glute. Good balance between that opposite hand and knee. All right, here we go. Let's grab those dumbbells. Here we go. Ready, and here we go. So raise my right leg, and I'm gonna do it. And again, you don't wanna go fast. This is about balance. You're moving weight through space, right? And you're changing that dynamic on that body. <laughs> And let's switch legs. Other leg, find that balance before you start to curl. Squeeze that glute. Keep that knee up. For many, it's gonna be, it's, that's gonna be the true challenge. It's using that hip flexor, keep that knee up. You got all sorts of other stuff going on. And time. All right, base turns. Base turn. Ready? Two, three, four. And then it's in and out. And then out. Step forward, step back. Step forward, step back. Step forward, step back. And then base turn. And that base turn, you want to make it really strong through the torso. So you really have to brace your stomach. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Back and forth, back and forth. And time. Okay, we're going bird dogs. Extend, alternate. Nice extension, good balance. Stay long, don't shorten. 15 to go. Five to go. And time. All right. Round two. Okay. Now you, we know what we have to do. Okay, for all three exercises, beginning with this one: ankle, knee, hip stability. Squeeze that butt. Okay. Here we go. Find those dumbbells. Okay. Work on that stability. Here we go. Right leg up. Squeeze the left butt cheek. And begin. Keep that ankle stable. Keep 
seconds to go. And switch legs now. Here we go. Switch legs. To find out how asymmetrical you are. And time. All right, here we go. Base turn, ins and outs. Here we go. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Step forward, step back. Base turn. Four base turns. All right, nice and even number. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Hitting the molds, hitting the molds. Less than 10 seconds, come on. Work it fast, work it fast. And time, bird dogs. Okay, nice and control. With stability, here we go. Extend that heel, keep that arm and that leg. When you straighten it, it should be parallel to your back. Don't arch the back. Head down. Do a straight spine. From the nape of the neck to the tailbone. And time. Great, well done. Okay, last one. Last nine and last one, and then we're doing our little finisher. Finish this up well, midweek. Midweek workout, some good mobility, some good stretching, some good strength work, some good balance. Okay, let's find those dumbbells, whatever you got. Right leg up, get that knee to the belt buckle. Squeeze the glute. Good stability. Keep that balance, keep that rhythm. Seven seconds. And switch legs. Here we go. it up five seconds and time Woo, good work all right here we go base turns in and out in and out forward back forward back really brace that stomach as you make that base turn The better you brace, the more tension you create. Keep it back, keep it back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Quick feet, quick feet. Stay back, stay back, and time. Bird dogs, this is it. Finish it off nicely now. Get that length. You know why we're doing this? Some mobility, 
So balance. Range of motion. Seven seconds to go. And time. Great. All right. This is it. We got a three minute finisher. Okay. Two exercises. 30 seconds each. Okay. We're going to go sumo. So you're going to get into a sumo position and then you're going to get on the balls of the feet. And you're just going to go up and down, working the calves. Those, that neglected muscle. Okay, 30 seconds of those. Then we do 30 seconds of plank taps. So you're going to be in a plank position, right? Your feet are shoulder width, if not a little bit wider. You're going to tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, tap the chest, tap the chest, tap your hip, tap your hip, tap your knee, tap your knee. And repeat. May only get to do that twice, 30 seconds. Okay? All right. Let's finish this off, guys. Three minutes. Let's do it well. We're going straight through. Okay? Here we go. Widen out the feet. Feet turned out. Ready? Down. Up. Hands on your hips. Okay? We're just inching up like a ballerina. Okay, work that balance, work those calves, stay in that box-like position. Ooh. Keep it up. Two, one, and time. Here we go. Down to planks. Ready and go. Shoulder, shoulder, chest, chest, hip, hip. Knee, knee, and make sure your feet are wide enough. Keep your glutes squeezing so your hips don't rotate when you take your hand off and you're in a tripod position. Right? We got to keep everything quiet. Everything's quiet, no movement. And two, one at a time. Upright, here we go. Right into it. Right into it. Down. Here we go. Get those calves. Good balance. Keep that isometric squat. Okay. Good balance. Get those tendons. Achilles heel. And time. Plank taps. Here we go. Right down. Let's go. Tap. 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 Keep it up. Try not to shift those hips. Squeeze the butt. If you need a higher surface, you can just raise your hands on a higher surface to do these. And time. Okay, here we go. Last round. Right down. And we're up and down. Get that box position. Good balance. Drive up. Squeeze those calves. Maintain that sumo squat position. Put your hands together in a Buddha. Help the balance. Two, one, and time. Last planks, everybody. You can go on a higher surface like a table, or an ottoman, or a couch arm, or on the floor. Less than 10 seconds. Bring it in, bring it in now. Come on. In three, two, one, and time. Oh. Woo, everybody. Bingo. 60 minutes on the dot. Great job, everybody. Well done. Way to go, team. Well, Duncan, I completely misunderstood Linda.